First of all, I open up my existing Visual Studio project and go to the scene section. In this section, I create a new scene via the green plus icon on the top left and add a technical name. Now I open the scene settings via the little gear icon and I will choose the background and I give it a name. In the object list we need the fountain. I can create it by using the plus icon. At the bottom we are able to choose the graphic which was exported. We can place it easily by using the position icon at the top. The scene has still the shadow of the fountain so it's easy to place. One of the most important thing is to set the center of the object. The editor is doing this most of the time correctly, but we have to check it. You can see a dotted line in the big window. The object center is somehow the baseline of the 2D graphic in the scene. The character has the same baseline, so it depends on where the character is walking, if he will uh, be placed in front or in the back of the object. Now I'm adding the gate and the complete foreground. The object center should be somewhere in the middle of the gate so that the character is able to walk through the gate and it will have some kind of 3D effect. Now I'm adding the borders for the walking area. It's a simple polygon and you can add new points by clicking on the screen. I have to go around the whole village center and keep in mind where the character should walk, even behind objects. At last you can close the polygon by connecting it with the first point. The next to do is to add waypoints. It may look strange if the player is walking a long way to simply go around the fountain. 
The second important use of the waypoints is to add a scale factor so that the player will become smaller so we have another 3D effect in this case. I usually add two points at the left for the nearest and the farthest point and only add the values there. This is much easier if you don't have to search the values through all the points you have added in the scene. The next step is to create another polygon for the fountain, so that the character is not walking through it. The easiest way is to start with the first one, far out of the big polygon. Add the points, close the last one and then move it in place.
Now we like to add a polygon for interaction. Each object can have its own polygon so that we can add some click interaction. The main character Nelson should drop a line by clicking on the fountain. The last thing to check is the sorting of the objects. There is a little double arrow at the top of the list which is sorting everything by the object center. And when the fontaine is set to the correct point, Nelson will walk behind and in front of the object correctly.